welcome to today's Curiosity Show. Now, to start with, let's try some mental arithmetic. What's 666,666 times itself? You should have the answer round about now, I should say. A little hard? Well, it has its problems, but the computer will help us, although not perhaps in the way that you think. Let's have a look. First of all, let's put on the screen a problem that I think you can solve. Six sixes. Yes, 36. Well, slightly harder, 66 times 66. 4, 3, 5, 6. From now on, you'll see an interesting pattern develop. 666 times itself, 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 6. And 6666 times itself, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 5, 6. In other words, in the answer, you always get 4, 3, 5, and 6, but it's the 4s and the 5s that vary. There is always one fewer 4 than there are 6s in the question, and the same with the 5s. If there are 4 6s in the question, there will be 3 4s and 3 5s. So that it doesn't take a lot of predictive power to say 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 5 6s and that, times itself will give you 4 4s, 3, 4 5s, 6. So, moving on to our question, what will 666666 be? Therefore, the answer will be 5 4s, 3 5 5s, 6.